Okay, we're going to re-encode a video here using Virtual Dub. And first step, obviously, is to fire up Virtual Dub. And we'll take our video that we want to re-encode. And the first thing you got to do with that is find out how long it is. Now, in the case of this video, it's 33 seconds. So we're going to take our 33 seconds and we're going to plug that into this calculator here, which XVID nicely comes with. It's called MiniCalc. And if you don't have MiniCalc, you probably downloaded the wrong version of the XVID codec. The one you got to get is called Nix XVID. And then you put in the length, set the frame rate. Usually for most videos shot with a camcorder, it's 30 frames a second. Uh, audio bitrate 128, leave it at that unless you want to use a higher audio bitrate or a lower one. Um, final desired size, we're going to punch in, let's get this down to 2 megabytes. So we're going to put in 2, and it's in megabytes, so 2 is 2 megabytes, so that means 1 megabyte dedicated to video. And we're going to pick CBR MP3, um, that just affects the size a little bit. And then what we need here is down at the bottom, it's going to say our average bitrate. And we'll want to copy that. And then we're done. We can drag our file we're going to encode over here into Virtual Dub. And then we're done with this. And then we go Video. We're already in full processing mode. We'll do Compression. We want to go over here to XVID. And we want to configure it. Make sure we've got our defaults loaded. Hit that a couple of times. And then we go up here to Target Quantizer. Just press that until it says Target Bitrate. And then we put in, we'll paste what we got from the calculator, which was 374. And then that's good. We hit OK. OK. Video is all set. Now we do audio. Now the audio, we got to go full processing mode, because for some reason it doesn't start in full processing mode. And then we go Conversion. Always do 44.1. High quality. Stereo. 16 bits. A lot of clicking, but if you don't do it, it ain't going to work right. Hit OK. Then we do Compression, MPEG Layer 3, and then we pick the same setting as we had in the calculator. In this case, 128 k bits, 44.1 stereo, 16 k bits a second. OK. Now we're all set to save our file. We go Save as AVI, and in this case, I'm just going to save it right on the desktop. And we should be good to go. And then you get your little windows that come up. Now this laptop's a little bit slow, so it's going to take quite a while to encode this. But you get the general idea. And then when the file is done, it should be uh, roughly the um, two megs that we uh, had the calculator come up with. And that's how you do it.